Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. In this video I'll be showing you how to import files from Blender into your Roblox Studio without any issues at all. Now, first off you need a model in your Blender obviously. Um, I'm gonna use this Oppa sculpt that I did a while back. And all you need to do is go on the top left, File, Export, FBX and choose a folder you, you, you want to export it to. And once you do that, once you have it exported, you can go back to your Roblox Studio. You could either go to View, Asset Manager, upload it this way, Bulk Import, if you have multiple stuff you want to import at the same time, or you could use the Import 3D option, click APA, or whatever you have exported. All you need to do is open that, and it should appear right here. As you can see, there's no errors. Sometimes if you have textures in Blender, it will show a yellow or red sign here. And it, you can't really export the textures along with this. Um, I'll probably do another tutorial on how to import textures from Blender. But for now, let's just import the actual model. Now these options here are not that important, honestly. You can just import it by clicking import and that's it and everything looks good make sure you anchor it by the way because if you don't anchor it and you click play it's just gonna fall apart all right so the only important thing that i suggest changing is the anchored option here all you need to do now is click import wait a couple of seconds and here you have it you import it into your roblox studio now it might be a bit oversized because blender has different sizes um, than Roblox Studio, but you can simply just resize that to the size that you need. And uh, as you can see, we have all of these because we exported as FBX. Now, when you export as FBX, it will it will um, get you all of the cubes, the separate cubes that you put in here. That way, if you don't want to, you know, import textures from Blender, all you can do is just click on one area and change the color of that area, change the material, whatever you want with it. Now, a few issues that I can help you fix if you encounter them is when one part is invisible, all right? It's, it's not visible in Roblox Studio. If that's the case for you, then all you need to do is click on the part. Let's just say, let's just say this part is invisible. You go over here and you click double-sided and it should fix that issue pretty easily. And uh, yeah, that, that's it. It's a very quick thing to do. Once you get the hang of it, it's really, really easy. And uh, that'll be it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.